In a previous example, we looked at what happened if we have two values or multiple values, and we were asked what is the x value that fits in between these. And we learned that we have linear interpolation where we approximate a linear line across the two points. From that y is equal to mx plus c value, we calculated a value y. The question now is what happens if we wanted an x such that this x is no longer between these two points, but it is somewhere to the right. So x is now outside the range of these of any two given or known points. So just as a note, in a table you might get multiple of these values all around, but now we're asking what happens if this is at the very extreme. If this is at the very extreme, how would we do any sort of approximation? And the answer would be that what we are going to do is we are going to use the point most closest to the x and one point away from it. So we will still approximate a linear line, but we will now extend that linear line such that it crosses over our x value. If we can get that approximation, which will again be y is equal to mx plus c, if we can get an equation for that line or solve that equation from our given x, we can then solve and figure out our unknown y. What we're actually going to do here is exactly the same as what we did last time. We are going to have a line that is going to be between the end points, sorry, one of the points and to our unknown x, and we will note that that is the slope of that is m, and we'll again have a slope between the two points where that is also m, and that the m's are the same. So what this means is that the derivation is going to be exactly the same as it was for linear interpolation. So please go back and look at the linear interpolation derivation if you want to know more about that. But what we are going to get is that we have exactly the same equation as we had for linear interpolation as for linear extrapolation.